Hey everybody. You ever wonder why when you go ahead and you use your uh, lawnmower, push, ride, it don't matter, and you're sitting there wondering, well, it ran perfect the, you know, the weekend before, but all you did was give it a bath. You know, hose down the engine compartment. Well, here's a thing a lot of people don't understand. When you spray down into the cow, water comes down, of course it pools around. It's not really good. Nine times out of ten you want to wash the engine basically below the flywheel. The reason why is, you see that? That magnet right there? That magnet gets in contact with the armature, which then in return gives you the spark. So let's say that, okay, you get out there and it's cranking over and it's cranking, you pull the plug and you do a little spark check. The problem is, is when you do that spark check, you see the spark, you're getting a false spark. It's just enough contact between them. And it's not really contact. And like I said, the width between the armature and the magnet is about the thickness of a regular business card. But what happens is, is it causes that current enough to go ahead and give you spark. But it is not really strong enough to do the job inside the engine. You might get a hesitant or when you accelerate, it bogs and dies down. Well, what you can do, and this is, anybody can do this. Take your engine cowl off, get the exposure to the flywheel and check and see what your flywheel looks like. If your flywheel looks pretty nasty like that, I can almost tell you right now, that's probably what your problem is. You've just got a real weak spark. So then what you do, is you go ahead and grab you a nice little stainless steel scrub brush, or you can do a hand, or you can do some mild forms of sandpaper and stuff, and you just basically clean it up. You get that. Now you'll see it's starting to shine up. Well, with that, you have a better contact. So when it's there, it's got a lot better chance and a lot less resistance. So it's a lot better for you to go ahead and get your spark. Basically, this was just a little mini thing of what to look out for on just your normal everyday lawnmowers. And this also actually will work on chainsaws and weed whackers that have the, the armature and magnet set configuration. Hope this helps. If you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to ask. Thank you. Have a great day. One other thing. Now, if you are prone to go ahead and giving it its bath, like I said, just make sure that you do it from basically the bottom of the flywheel down, hose it off, and then re-lube everything you're supposed to. But if you go ahead and you get in there and you do clean it up a little bit, don't hesitate to re-gap it. Use a 3x5 business card or, some, or a 3x5 card or a business card and use it for the gapping up front. There's numerous videos showing you, so I'm not going to get into it. But one thing I do do is I do rub just a gentle film of WD-40 on it after I'm done. Displaces water, keeps corrosion at a minimum, keeps the rust down, etc. But I just thought I'd throw that in at the end. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.